Hi, this is Travis from POSGuys.com. Today we're covering the Logic Control CR3000 cast drawer, the USB version, and connecting it with Windows 10. Uh, so this kind of has some generic applications as well, where uh, it works for other USB cast drawers and works for other operating systems. The steps are going to be uh, pretty much the same, but if you have Windows 7, Windows 8, follow the same steps. If you have a different brand of cast drawer, you'll need a different driver, uh, but in general it's going to be the same steps. Um, if you're using a printer driven cast drawer, then ignore this video because there's no drivers that you need. You hook a printer driven cast drawer up to the printer and then when the printer prints, it'll send the cast drawer signal to the cast drawer. You don't have to worry about a different set of drivers. If you're using OPOS because you're using uh, Microsoft RMS or Microsoft 2K9, uh, then you need OPOS drivers. Those are a different procedure and don't use these drivers as well. So step one is to plug in your cash drawer. You're going to need the correct USB cable. On some cash drawers, it's just a standard uh, USB A to B cable. On the logic controls, you need the um, special cash drawer cable. So it has like, it looks like almost like a phone end on one side and then it's a standard USB on the other side. Uh, there's a little port in the back of the drawer. You plug that in and uh, then plug it into your computer. I'm using a little extension. You don't have to use an extension. After that's done, you'll need to install the drivers. So there's two files you'll want to download from the Bima Tech website. It's going to be the driver file and the test utility. So using the uh, driver file first, you're going to want to install the appropriate driver. If you have a 64-bit OS, you use a 64. If you have 32-bit, you can use the x86 and you follow the on-screen prompts. Click Next. The default location is fine. Click Next. It's going to install some files. Give it permission to install those files. After the file completes, you say OK, and then you'll want to check to make sure that the driver installed correctly. What you're going to need to do is check the device manager. I'm going to go to Windows Start, start typing in device. You'll see the device manager come up as an option. Select it. And then inside of it, you're going to look for the port section. And you'll see the logic controls, USB port, and it'll assign a COM number. So that's the COM number you're going to test with. Minimize that, close out the driver, and then now I'm going to select the utility. Inside the utility, there's an application. You don't need to install an executable. You just run the application. It's going to prompt for uh, the default COM port and settings. We're COM4, so I'm going to change this to COM4. And say OK. And then now, if I want to open the drawer, I hit the open test. When I click open, and you can see that the drawer can go. If you want to test it again, you just click open test, and it opens once more. Uh, so that's the test utility, and it confirms that the driver is installed correctly. In order to get this to work with your point of sale software, you'll need to configure your point of sale software. So whether you're using Aldelo, Cash Register Express, uh, store manager, any of the popular uh, point of sale softwares that use cash drawers, serial cash drawers, you'll go into that software and go into the settings and you'll look for the section under cash drawer and serial cash drawer and then select the proper COM port. So in this case it's COM4 but it's whatever uh, COM that your cash drawer installs into. So that's the basics for setting up a USB cache drawer. This is a Logic Control CR3000 cache drawer. Uh, follow the same steps for other cache drawers. It's just going to be a different driver. For more information on the CR3000 cache drawer or to purchase, please visit us at POSGuys.com. Thanks.